My wife is currently a nurse at Valverde Regional Medical Center uh, in the intensive care unit, specifically the uh, COVID department there. And uh, one thing with today's flyover uh, at all the locations is that Laughlin's just trying to give a little bit back uh, to say thanks to the doctors, the nurses, the frontline medical responders, everybody involved uh, in the efforts that they've been doing the past month. Hello, my name is Lieutenant Taylor Hudson. I'm an instructor pilot in the 87th Flying Training Squadron here at Laughlin Air Force Base. My name is Major Matthew Goring. I'm currently the Director of Operations at 87th Flying Training Squadron, Laughlin Air Force Base, Texas, and a T-38 pilot. Objectives today, we all have different cards, but basically safety similar formation and then uh, excellent fingertips so that we look good. And then, the uh, uh, Air Force and the military in general, uh, we feel a lot of support from the community, and today is a great opportunity for us as members of the military to go out and support uh, our community and our frontline uh, workers. It'll be a three-ship flyover, uh, and the number one spot will be a T-1J Hawk, uh, slightly larger trainer aircraft to be white. Uh, and the number uh, on the left side, we'll have a T-6 propeller-driven aircraft uh, flown by the 85th Flying Training Squadron here. Uh, and then on the right side will be the T-38 flown by uh, pilots in the 87th Flying Training Squadron. In some way, this flyover is only going to involve seven of the pilots. Uh, but those seven pilots are going to be supported by hundreds of on-base personnel and then viewed and supported by thousands in the community in Valverde, uh, up at Eagle Pass, and in San Angelo. So to be able to go out and do this is pretty special for us. It takes uh, a lot of work all the way up to the, the Air Force level to be allowed to do these flyovers. It's not something that we normally do, flying these dissimilar airplanes uh, so close to each other. and. Uh, it's a skill set that we have flying low level, uh, close to the ground, but it's not something that we typically do over cities. We usually do it out uh, uh, in the countryside. So to be able to bring all these different airplanes together and to uh, showcase these skills in a slightly different way, as well as uh, developing our instructors by um, giving them some different challenges, is something that we've been working on for several weeks and we're looking forward to using those skills and uh, improving our skills to say thank you to the folks out there. Myself, I'm from a small town in Indiana. Uh, growing up, my dad was a big aviation follower. Uh, he didn't fly himself, but just even as a kid, seeing uh, dissimilar flyovers from P-51s from World War II aircraft, I thought it was just an incredible thing to see. And now, growing up and being able to fly one myself is just absolutely crazy to give back to all of the medical responders that have been given their all for the past six months.